continue our team coverage now. Some 80 residents in Portsmouth are flooded out of their apartments. This is happening in Churchland. That's where we sent 10 in your size Liz Palka, who joins us live tonight and lives. These people have a place to go. They do, Tom, and they have to find another place to go, and that's because of these notices. These condemned notices were put up by the city. They are on most of the buildings here at the village at Western Branch. Residents are either staying with family or friends until they can get back on their feet, or they're moving to other units within the, the complex. Either way, they've been out here all day working tirelessly to get out of their waterlogged apartments. Nobody's fault because it's an act of God. I mean, who do you blame? Who do you blame? Portsmouth residents trying to remain calm after a severe rainstorm left their apartments a soggy mess. Are you glad that we're getting out of this apartment? Yes! So I'm trying to rush and just get as much stuff as I can for my kids and me and so we can be okay tonight and have somewhere to sleep. Between the village at Western Branch on Churchland Boulevard and the Cedar Creek Apartments on Danvers Road, fire officials say 81 people were displaced. Things in her bedroom floated into the bathroom. Things that were in the dining area floated into the living room. Looks like my couch is pretty much done for. Um, my piano, it looks like the water has went up on that. A lot of clothes. Most lower level apartments were condemned at the village at Western Branch Tuesday. Restoration crews were busy ripping out and throwing out carpets as residents looked for any belongings they could find. My bookshelf crumbled to the floor. Stephen King's gone almost. <laughs> I know that's not real important, but it is to me. Well, I don't even know what else to grab right now. Kim Beverly, who has lived in Cedar Creek for three years, said she was at work when the rain started. She got home and could barely open her front door. But once she did... My shoes started floating towards me. The welcome mat started floating towards me, and I just threw everything back in and closed the door. I couldn't do anything. Now she's prioritizing as she prepares to move back in with family. Let's put this somewhere. Grabbing electronics first. We have to leave. We cannot stay here. And hoping she never faces a flood like this again. I love living here, but it's time to go. Now, many of the residents I spoke to did say they are moving to other units within the complex, but others said they're moving out for good because they are worried this area will just flood again. Live in Portsmouth, I'm Liz Pelka, 10 on your side.